Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan Lorson and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So today I'm gonna to be recreating a look on my Elena doll. This is Elena from Limage. I'll put a link down below for anyone who's interested. She's gorgeous, she has beautiful lashes, she's got some shoulders, so she looks like a real person, especially when you're taking pictures for your Instagram and for marketing, she's absolutely beautiful. So I'll link her below, but I'm gonna be recreating a style that I posted recently on my Instagram page, and I had a request to recreate the look and show how I did it. So I'm gonna be recreating it here, and I might post it in this video, but if not, you can go look. It's a big, voluminous bun, um, kind of starts about crown area, and it's just, I really built it out, and it's like a nice, big, full bun. I'm gonna first start off by using a little bit of Kenra Lux Shine Oil. Her hair has had a lot of product in it recently, and it needs a little bit of extra added shine, so I'm just gonna work it through my hands, and then work it right through her ends around the face just on those ends just to add some shine into her hair hydrate it nourish it and already feels so much better just adding that little bit of oil in her hair and then i'm gonna go ahead brush her hair out i just did a textured updo on her recently and i did like a really quick like minute long tutorial on it on instagram so if you guys would like to see that you can go over to my instagram and it's a beautiful textured low bun so pretty all right so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to start with the top of her head and just section it down like right in the middle of her ear we're going to start by creating the volume in her hair and she does have two rows of extensions in so you're going to see those and that's just to give her extra volume. And I just wanna make sure that her bump is gonna be nice and smooth right here. So if there's any hairs that shouldn't be in there, I'm just going to push them out of the way. And any hair that wants to naturally kind of fall back, I'm gonna go ahead and push it back and that's where I'm gonna start my volume. Cause I don't want any disconnect from when we put the sides in the back. Okay, and then I'm just gonna comb it back. And then I'm going to take my comb and I'm using this comb by Pink Pewter. I absolutely love it because you can hold it while you're working through the hair. You can use it to section, to comb. It's very, very handy when you're working weddings. All right, so I'm gonna section it out and we're just going to tease this a little bit to shape it and to give it that volume when we go to pin it. So I'm just gonna tease it right at the base. And then I'm gonna take another section back and I'm going to tease that. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I usually tease it about 12 times. That's usually like the key number of times I like to tease it to really hold a tease. and I'm just teasing it at the bottom. I don't want to create a lot of extra added frizz or anything. And I'll do one more right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and flip all this hair back. I'm gonna lightly comb that top layer. And then what I'm going to do is turn her this way. I'm going to just lightly gather that top section, smooth out the frizz, and I'm actually going to use a little bit of my Moroccan oil lumin luminous um, hairspray. And I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of that on top. Take my comb and just lightly comb the top to kind of smooth that frizz. And then we're going to create that volume on top. So and I'm going to twist it just a little bit. And whenever I like it, that's good right there. I'm going to take my bobby pin and because I twisted it, I'm going to take the one side of the twist, bring my bobby pin over, and then push it in this way. 
So that way it locks it right in place. And then I can go in with another bobby pin and just slide it through that one, crisscross it so it's actually like super secure. Let me scoot it a little bit closer. Hopefully you guys can see that good. And then if I need to shape it anymore, pull out any more volume, I can with my fingers to manipulate it a little bit. I can make sure that I like that amount of volume. You can come in with your tail under your comb and just gently lift it up a little bit more if you need to. Okay, and then the second step is going to be to create a base for everything else to be pinned into. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of hair on this, not on the very front sides, we're gonna keep that hair there. And then I'm just going to gather about halfway down. Okay, so I've got all my hair gathered in a ponytail and I did take a fairly clean section down here. And then I'm just going to use my comb to kind of tidy up the hair, make sure it's smooth and as free as, free as possible. And then I'm going to take an elastic band and I'm going to go ahead and tie this into a ponytail. And I do want to make sure the ponytail comes up to kind of meet this, the bobby pins, where we place the bobby pins. So make sure the ponytail is not too low because I do want this bun to be sort of somewhat high. I want it to be kind of in line with her chin so it's very flattering when it finishes when we finish it. So once I get the ponytail, I'm going to smooth it out and I'm going to twist it. And then I'm going to start wrapping it around the hair or wrapping it around itself in a little bun. And then I'm going to get some bobby pins. Just drop my hairspray, and then I'm just going to place them around the bun and secure this little bun. And then this is going to be the base where we pin everything else into. So make sure this is nice and secure. And again, I'm just going around the whole side of the bun. Make sure it's super secure. It's not going anywhere. There we go. And it should be nice and tight. And it'll look somewhat like this. And then you can go ahead and spray a little bit of hairspray on that. Okay, and then the next part, I'm going to take a section of hair right here. And I'm gonna split this into two. And then I'm just going to start twisting the hair Twisting it, twisting it, twisting it all the way to the end. And then once I get to the end, I'm gonna go ahead and take another elastic and secure it. And I love using elastics when I'm doing bridal hair or hair for bridesmaids, especially on thick hair. But elastics are a great way to ensure that your style isn't going anywhere and that it's gonna stay really well. And then just something I like to do is kind of loop the ends like this so it's not just sticking straight out. I just find it's easier to hide them like this so I always do this at the ends. And then once I have the twist, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the twist and fluff it out to give it texture and just to expand it. Once I finish, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna spray a little bit of its Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray. It's a very, very lightweight texture spray, but it's great to add texture into the hair. Also helps to expand this, so I'll spray a little bit on before and after if I need it to pull out this more and give it more texture. Also, I love going in with Kenra Whipped Taffy before, especially if their hair is frizzier, 
to smooth that frizz, but also give it a really nice lightweight texture to expand the hair, give it more volume, but especially to help with smoothing and taming frizz. <clears throat> All right, so then we're gonna leave that there. I'm gonna split the hair into thirds. So we got two more sections. So then I'm gonna take this middle section, split it in two, and we're just going to twist it again. Twist it, twist it, twist it, all the way to the ends. And then I'm going to secure that end with an elastic. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to this last section right here, and then we'll start pinning it up. Okay, so here she is. I've pulled out all her twists. And the more you pull out the twist, the bigger and fuller you can get the bun. You can also pull it out as you go, which I also like to do. But I'm gonna start placing it, and I do like to keep it twisted as I'm working with it to make sure it keeps that texture look. So I'm going to just play with it and start bringing it up here. And whenever I like the placement of it, I'm gonna go ahead and just start pinning. I'll let you guys see this side. So I'm gonna hold it there and I'm just going to start pinning it in place. And again, I want her bun to be up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna keep that in mind when working with it. And I wanna make sure that I expand these twists up a little bit higher when I'm working with it. So I'm just going to place some bobby pins in there. And as I'm doing that, I'm pulling out the twist to keep that texture in there. And it kind of just makes it look like the hair was curled. And then I'm going to pin this underneath our base bun and pin that little tail under there. So there is our first section. I'm gonna go ahead and place one more under here and I'm pinning it into the base so it's nice and super secure. And then I do like to take hairspray as I go, just tame the frizz, give it a little bit of hold. And then we're going to take our next one. And I just like to play, play with it a little bit and see where I think it would look the best. And, and then once you start liking how it's looking, just start pinning it into place. And then you can kind of manipulate it and move it around as you go if you need to co cover certain areas. <clears throat> you can easily do that. Pinning it right into that base so it's nice and secure. And again, I'm keeping it twisted as I work with it. That way it keeps that twisted shape. If you start twisting it the other way, it can start to lose that texture and that shape. And then <clears throat> just going to tuck this end under here and pin it under there so it doesn't pop out at any point. And then I'm also going to place another pin up here. And then I do like to look at my updo from all angles to make sure it's looking the way I want it to, to make sure it's balanced, all those things. I'm gonna tuck in this piece right here. That way it's a little bit more. And you can definitely see the extensions right here, but that's why we left this front out for last. So we can easily swoop this back here and cover that. So we're gonna do that last. Okay, once that's in place, I'm gonna go ahead and take this section. And then this is important right now, this part, to make sure that the updo stays balanced and that it looks similar on both sides. So again, I'm just going to twist it 
up in the direction that I originally twisted it to keep that, that look and that texture. And then I'm just going to pin that right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna let that hang right there for a second. I'm gonna work on this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this up in here and then I'm just going to weave it so it starts to bring this together down here. Use a little bit of hairspray. And I'm gonna check this side. This extension wants to kind of like stick out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin it up so it's flat against the head and it's not poking straight out. And then this side right here needs to be tucked up under here a little bit more. So I'm just going to take a bobby pin and just push it in there. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna twist the rest of this. And again, I wanna keep the height up here. So I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin this in. I'm gonna actually leave this one. <clears throat> and then you can easily stuff this tail inside this bun so it's completely hidden. Just be careful when you do this that you're not messing up the hair, creating extra frizz. And then we can close in that gap. I'm gonna go inside the bun so you don't see the bobby pin. I'm gonna weave some of that tail, stick it straight in so it's all nice and secure. And you can see how that's looking. And then down here, if there's any weird gaps, we're just going to take a bobby pin and tighten it, close it in so it looks like it flows together. And then you can work it out. I like it a little bit looser down here. I just think it makes it look a little bit more modern. And again, just check the balance of your updo as you go. This part right here is bulging out a little bit too much. I'm gonna go ahead and stick a bobby pin in there, weave it a little bit so it's not sticking out quite as much. And then just pinch and pull where you feel like you need more height, more volume, if you need to shape it more, if you need the bun to come out a little bit more. So I'm going to... <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna spray it a little bit, get these little flyaways to come up here. And then you can even go back in, pull this out a little bit more. Just make sure that the shape is nice and rounded, how you like it. Perfect. All right, now we're going to finish it off with incorporating the sides. So for this look, I personally always usually like to leave hair down. I just love pieces, soft pieces down around the face. Man, I'm just dropping everything today. Okay. Get another comb. So I'm gonna leave some soft pieces around the face. I'm gonna leave like one down here. Let me see if I should leave out a little bit more. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll pull a little bit of that back and then we'll just kind of swoop it. Okay, that looks good. All right, and so I'm just going to split this in half and I wanna make sure I stand back behind this and I'm gonna twist it a little bit and then I'm just going to pull that twist out. Make sure it has a nice flow, make sure I've got a good amount of volume up here. And I just want to make sure that it flows nicely with this volume that we started with in the front. So as you can see, that blends really nicely. 
and it has a little bit of texture so it just goes really nicely with this whole look. So I'm going to pinch it out a little bit more. Once I like the way it looks, I'm gonna go ahead and stick a bobby pin and kind of just hide this and incorporate it into the side of it. And I'm going to just pull it out a little bit more Make sure it flows nicely. Okay, and then we're going to take this next section, leave our pieces out in the front. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to twist this. And again, you wanna make sure that you are standing where you're twisting it because if you twist it this way and then pull it back, you'll get some weird gaps and bulky It'll just like kind of bulk out and do some weird stuff. All right, and then I'm just going to lightly pull out these twists. Make sure the volume's where I want it. If we want any hair covering the ear more, coming to a certain place. And then I think that looks good right there. Just wanna make sure everything's flowing together and then it looks like it all flows together and there's not any harsh dividing lines or anything like that. And then I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit more right here. And then you can even hairspray too. Hairspray this right here. Perfect. Pull this up a little bit right here. So again, these twists on the side just kind of help keep that whole textured look. And then we have two tails here now from the two twists. So we're just gonna go ahead and marry these two together. And I'm gonna twist these just how we twisted the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and secure the ends with an elastic just to make sure that we don't have any ends poking out. This just keeps them together and it's easier to hide the tail. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's easier to hide the tail if they're tied together with an elastic and it just helps to lock it inside the updo. And then we're gonna do the same thing by pulling out these twists. And then I'm just going to twist it. And I'm gonna, I wanna fill in this little, there's like a little hole right here. So I wanna make sure there's some volume right here. But I also want to hide the end of this twist because it's just, it doesn't quite go because it, it's you know getting really thin on the ends. So I'm going to slide a bobby pin, keep this part twisted right here so it fills in that gap, but I'm going to push it inside of the updo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and feed the rest of that inside of the updo. Place my finger there so I don't lose it. And then I'm just gonna take a bobby pin and lock that inside so it doesn't come back out. And just make sure it slides right into that base. And then you can manipulate the hair, pull it out a little bit more to cover, perfect. And then we can just spray that, perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> so I'm gonna first pick my pieces that I want out. Let's see here. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bit of hair down by the ear. Pieces are really long right here. Let me pull it back. Try to make sure you guys can see. Okay. All right, so there's our hair that we're gonna leave out. And then we're going to divide it in two sections. I'm gonna go ahead and 
switch sides so I can work better so you guys can see. So I'm going to divide this into two sections. And this first one, we're just going to twist. I wanna make sure I stand behind. I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to pull this volume out here and just pull the twist out and then make sure I keep it twisted. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin it in to do so it just flows right into it. So you almost can't tell where it was pinned into when it once it's completed. <clears throat> and we'll let that hang loose. And then we're going to twist this piece back. I'm gonna turn her to the side and just twist it, twist it. And I'm going to pull this out. Pull the front out a little bit. Move it over here a little bit, there we go. I'm gonna pull this out to make sure we have the volume that we want. Make sure everything blends and flows. And then pull some of this out. All right, and I'm gonna pin that in place. And then again, we have a little bit of a hole right here, especially from pinning the sides in there. So we're just gonna fill in the side and make it complete by twisting these two sections together. And I'm just going to pinch and pull. All right, I'm going to secure that with an elastic right here. <clears throat> And I'm gonna pinch it out a little bit more. And then just kind of play with it to see how I wanna pin it up. And you can pull it out as you play with it to see how you want it, where you want it. And sometimes this can take a little bit of time and it's just all about perfecting it. Let me put one more bobby pin right here. I think sometimes we feel like we have to know exactly where to put things when we're doing updos and we feel like, oh, if we're lost, if we, or if we take a minute to figure out where something should go, I'm just gonna stuff this tail up into the bun and keep my finger there and place a bobby pin. But it's okay to take a second and just play with it. See where you, it, it looks best, see where it creates balance. And then I'm just going to place another one in there. <clears throat> and there's like a little loopy thing right here. I'm just going to take it, pin it up. And then you can just Take a look at her from all sides, make sure you feel like she's balanced. I'm gonna go ahead and curl her front pieces and then I'm gonna place uh, an accessory in her hair and then I will show you guys the after. Okay, I've got her front pieces curled and then I'm gonna be using a beautiful hair piece by Sweet V. You can find them on Instagram. They have gorgeous bridal hair pieces and accessories and this one is so pretty. This is what it looks like. And you can like spread it out and it's actually kind of long. So I'm gonna put it on this side right here. I think this is like the perfect place for it. I love using accessories in the hair. It just, to me, a lot of times can elevate the look and just add a little bit of a wow factor to the style. And this piece is so perfect. I'm just going to bend it and mold it to work with the updo and then once I like it I'm going to pin it in place to make sure that it stays especially these tail ends they can kind of be floppy and move around and bend if they catch something so I'm going to place a 
bobby pin right here at the top to secure that top part, but I wanna be careful that I don't take any of this volume down. And then I'm going to pin one at the bottom. That way it's nice and secure and that comb is in there really good. And then these pieces right here, I'm just going to bend them into the hair and these pieces will be fine. I wouldn't worry about pinning these as long as the comb is secure and as long as like these long tail ends are secure, it's not going anywhere. So here she is all finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any other future content.